Hey, good morning, and welcome to the Den of Creativity. I'm Nico. I'm going to show you a little bit of how to start editing your site. This is probably where you will end up if you just log in for the first time. This is the Savy dashboard, we call this. There's a bunch of quick links here on the left. Your store owing you zero dollars right now, but could owe you billions if you sell tons of mp3s, that kind of a thing. Um, but let me show you one of the coolest parts of, of editing your site right here. Click on edit site, top right. Now you'll be at your home page. Now what you can do is this is called your menu. You can drag this over here if you like the home page there and you want your blog page over there. That's all drag and drop. Um, show you a, a couple other cool things. This right here is called your title and your slogan up here. Now you can change that by going up to options in the top and then click on edit title slogan and say you change your band name, you called the donkey dudes now and kicking it is your new slogan. You'll see that change right here and right here. Now the other thing is let's say you're looking at this and you're like man I wish I had a totally different theme or style and I don't want some dude staring at me up there so you go change theme again options change theme and here are all the themes for you to choose from now what you can do is you if you want to see what it would look like you can just click on that image and this will pop up and give you a live preview of what that would look like if you were to choose that theme of course so you see your title and slogan up here now there's lots of different styles and uh, themes to choose from here let's choose another one here so if you like this one Fall Creek um, what you're gonna do is you just choose it by ch clicking the little button here hit submit and bzz, there you go there's your new site theme now this is your header image now each header image is a different size or shape or placement depending on which theme you choose. So click on options up here and here we have use the default header image which is this creek. Uh, you can have no header image or upload my own header image. So let's upload a custom one. Click on browse and just go to wherever it is on your desktop. So I've got a picture here of a... Okay, so you see it come in and now you can just drag this around to whichever part you want. You can resize it. So let's say we just want this much of it. Hit submit and you'll see it come in right there. All right. It's a good thing that's an index finger right there. Okay. So now the next probably most important thing you're going to want to know how to do is work with columns and rows. Now. Here's rows. You'll see here as you hover over, you see the column come up here. Now you can add columns. So let's add a column down here. And you can drag this over just by mousing over. Now the other thing is you see this little drag thing here. For all these components, you can drag them around. But let's say you wanted a little video. So go to add component at the top, click on video, and let's put a video right here underneath here. Now I'll show you this real quick. Click on options. Now all you need is uh, to embed a URL. So let's go to YouTube. You, what you're going to do is just copy that up top. Bring it back over. And you'll watch it come in right there. So let's say you wanted to put the Savvy Terms and Conditions video on your page for some weird reason. Then well, it comes in right there. Now you can resize it. See that little blue arrow at the bottom? Resize it and then you can drag it around over here like that. Um, now another th thing with your text, each page has uh, kind of some default components that come in there, but you can delete them or, hey, this is neat. Just type your text in there, hit submit, and there it is. So let's, on here, let's make another column, drag that over, and now social links is a very common component. Go to add component, come on over here, let's add some of your social links. 
So for all these components, you just hover over it, and you'll see the options appear. Just click on options, and it'll give you all the little, uh, uh, all the options that you'll need. So for this one, let's say you want to have a link to CD Baby. Click Add This Service and to Facebook. Add This Service. And now what you're going to do is put the, the URLs for those pages. So wherever you want people to go to. So for this one, let's go facebook.com slash savey. And we can get this URL later. Hit Submit. And there you go. If you wanted to make those icons bigger, for example, you could just crank them up like that with the slider. So that's working with rows and columns. Uh, there's a pile of different there's a pile of different components that you can mess around with, but uh, that should get you started.